each material has its own properties and its own abilities to do things. It also has its own history and its uh, meaning and ways to communicate. So matching those specific properties to the idea that you're trying to uh, convey is a, is a very important part of, of what we do as sculptors. The properties of metal that make it challenging and interesting are, first of all, it's, it's this cold, hard, industrial material. It's hard to bend, it's hard to shape, it's hard to cut. Much unlike modeling with clay, which is a very soft and plastic and pliable material, steel and metals are very hard. But there's a subtlety and a softness and a, I would say seductiveness to the metal as well. And especially as you build skills and build a little bit of confidence with the material and the experience. My name is Michael Krager and I've been interested in sculpture since I was about 13 years old. Here at PCC in the welding sculpture class, we teach primarily uh, welding with steel. In the beginning of the class, there's a lot of demonstration of how to use the equipment. I get students in here who've never picked up a tool more complicated than a screwdriver or a hammer, perhaps. There's a fast learning curve in the beginning of learning how to operate welding equipment, power tools, and grinders. We spend a lot of time on safety and a lot of time on practicing with, these, uh, with this equipment to build up some skills. And then I sort of open the doors and then they just go and make what they want to make. I encourage students to use mixed materials, to bring in soft materials to work against the hard materials and uh, expand on things in that way as well. The materials that you use, certain materials do have limitations. Stone has a problem with cracking and breaking if you hit it wrong when you're carving it. Mostly it, it boils down to the limitations of the artist's skills and uh, their creative ideas, I guess. Welding especially has come into play in the last half of the 20th century with people like David Smith who used this industrial process in a very creative way and opened up many new avenues for sculptors. It's a very diverse body of work that my students have created. Um, I had a teacher when I was in school, and every student's work looked like his work. And when I started teaching, I decided I didn't want that at all, and so I have sort of uh, pushed students in a variety of different directions and certainly allowed them to pursue it in their own ways. I would encourage everyone who is a student at PCC to take an art class. Look around, look for us, we're here, um, and we're important. I think the culture in general views art as a sort of sideline, hobby, not important thing, but I think it, the more that people learn about art, the more they will recognize that art is a very intellectual pursuit, and it is about problem solving and I think that most of the world's problems could be solved if everyone thought like an artist thinks. <laughs>